Hi, I'm Libby Gibson, Town Manager. Welcome to What's Going On in Town Government. We had a pretty long board meeting this week, but we got at a lot of different things. We had some announcements. Some of these are over now, so I'm not going to mention them, but Town Meeting Warrant for 2019, 2019 Annual Town Meeting Warrant, is open right now for Citizen Warrant Article Submittals until this coming Monday, the 19th at 4 o'clock. So if you're thinking about an article, you need to get it in by then. We have no board meeting next week, the 21st, day before Thanksgiving. Don't usually meet then. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to the big stuff. Yeah. There's been a change of manager at Murray's Beverages. Uh-oh. From David Murray to Carl Murray. Oh, well, that's fine. Fine, as long as it's still a Murray. That's right. Um, okay, Vineyard Wind came in and gave an update, and there's a bit of an issue with Vineyard Wind's project, which is an offshore wind project to the south of Nantucket, because we will be able to see it a bit. And they had some simulations up a few oh months ago. Boy. So for, for some, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> But I don't, and I don't I mean, really little, know. I mean, how much are we going to say of it? Well, yeah. I mean, if you have binoculars, I mean, what, what, what is the whole purpose of it anyway, really? To generate sustainable clean, power? yeah, clean, yeah. yeah. California is like two degrees hotter than it normally is. Yeah. Hello. I know. I mean, are we just going to sit well, back and there's wait? Well, there's a there's a um, what do you call that a. Uh, you know when um, you want something but you don't want the side effects, but it's a good thing. What's that called? Give and take sort of thing. Yeah. I'm, exactly. I, okay, it's oh, Friday. Yeah, no. I can't even oh, yeah. comprehend really sure you anything are. today. You're tired. I'm tired. Um, and it was a short week. So, oh my so God, there's a lot going on. With people, there's well, some... there was just, there's going to be some, there's a comment period and there's going to be some comments about probably at least that part of it. And our energy coordinator is on top of this. I guess if people have questions or comments, they can talk to her about how you get your issues registered. Anyway, it's a project that seems to be moving ahead. A couple utility petitions. Okay, we had our tax rate hearing, our annual tax rate hearing. And I didn't bring the actual numbers with me, but the valuations went up, the tax rate went down a tad. Tax, that doesn't mean tax bills will go down, of course. When do tax bills ever go down? They go up a little, not much. And all that information should be on the town website. But the board, again, granted a residential exemption of 25%. Last year was the first year they were allowed to go to 25% by state law. Previously, it had been 20 for a long time. What does that mean? It means that if you are a year-round resident, you are eligible, depending on your property situation, a... Um, an exemption from part of your bill of up to 25%. Oh, that's nice. Of 25%. Yeah, it's very nice for local residents. Yeah, a Massachusetts residents. resident, right? Not a... Oh, yeah, Nantucket resident. Oh, it has to be Nantucket. It has right. to be Nantucket. You have to live here year-round. Okay. We had our second round of first quarter budget reports for this fiscal year, fiscal 19. Last week, we did the... First round. This week we had airport, Wanna Comet, Sconset, and Sewer. We also had a review of some, uh, a kind of a, a recommendation from town administration to temporarily repurpose the soon to be old fire station at 131 Pleasant Street. Oh, Long story short, we reviewed about 11 options for the use of that property with the board. And the one we were recommending involved moving a couple of town offices to that site that are in not good building conditions right now, the health department and the natural resources department. Long story short, the board decided that because affordable housing is a main focus of its strategic plan, before we further consider moving town offices to the site, we should consider whether or not housing is feasible there, affordable housing. So the affordable housing trust is going to take that up and come back with a recommendation in two or three weeks. Isn't there some housing being built right across the street? There is seasonal housing being built across the street by Nantucket Community Sailing. Nice. Yeah. yeah what are they putting in anyway? Do you know? What do you mean? I mean, how many units are there? Um, I forget how many units, but it's... Is it apartment style? I don't know Oh. really what it is. We've been looking at seasonal dormitories 
for based on the yacht club like style yeah at the six fairgrounds property but we haven't moved there yet either because we're trying to sort of finish off a kind of a master housing plan of that property when, when do you see something happening there at that site where the the old fire station would that happen right away as soon as they move over to the new one no oh. no 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 um well Okay, so what happens to that anyway? Well, it'll be vacant until we figure out what to do with it. I so see. our options that we gave to the board range from selling to housing to seasonal mm -hmm. housing to senior center to a number of other uses, and this is the one that we felt was the most logical, I guess. But the board has a very good point about housing being a central focus of its strategic plan, and before we look at anything else that isn't in the strategic plan, we should look at what is in the strategic plan. So. That is what we're going to do. So we're going to look at the property and now, now say that the property is deemed feasible for housing. And a number of things are going to have to happen. It's a good location. Not, maybe not a number of things. Some things are going to have to happen at that site in order for housing to actually be constructed there. I don't know if we need zoning changes. There's a sewer force main that runs right through the property. That is the, that is, um, the force main that failed in January. It is not in use right now, but we might need to put it back into use. Yeah. And until we have a new force main, which we are pursuing, and a, and a third one that would be an alternate, and then we'd probably put this one out of commission. Until that happens, though, we can't disturb the area. So our thinking was to temporarily put these couple of town offices there. Also, we have a desperate need for public meeting space. So our thought was let's get a trailer for meeting space, put it at this site. The trailer could in the future be used for some other purpose until, and basically this situation would remain until we can figure out if we are going to construct a new municipal building somewhere so that we can cons consolidate town offices and have them be in one centralized building rather than multiple buildings all, all over the place, which is what we have now. There's a lot yeah, you know going on with this. I know. Nobody wants to have they a new don't town want to lose building. This downtown. Well there's there's they don't want to lose the downtown part, but there's also no nobody not that many people care too much about municipal office space, to be frank. They just um, don't could that building be renovated? The police, the fire station? Um, depending on what we were using it for, it's potential. It has potential to be renovated. It's brick, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, depending on where you're going to use in it, you have to bring it up to code. There's no elevator in there. The mm -hmm. handicapped access is probably not, you have to do some work for that. Oh, yeah, of course. And it's, you know, there's a large garage space. So we were also talking about we could use the garage space in this interim time frame for to store the natural resources boats maybe there's some other equipment we can put there there's the files that could go there does kind of look, I mean, the housing idea look, is no attractive traffic. they can walk to the, the, the location is obviously quite central yeah so there so so the housing I mean, option has a lot going for and it and then there's also all that land that's next to the boys and girls club that we have, well we, we don't, don't own it we don't but no. that's got some serious potential for housing yeah Mm-hmm. Yeah. We could we could get all our housing troubles would be gone if we put off did both of those, wouldn't they? I don't know if they would be gone, but we, they'd they'd be probably close. But then we have to start thinking about where we're gonna put the YMCA. Oh boy. Yeah, you know I'm on that. I'm going over I to know. the vineyard to do a show on it. Are you? Do yeah. they have a YMCA over yes. there? Yes. Ah. Okay. Anyway. We had lots of discussion about this, and so, like I said, the Affordable Housing Trust is going to come back soon with whether or not they think this is feasible. We had a couple of traffic safety committee recommendations. Okay, then we had a couple of letters that the board is going to be sending to the Zoning Board of Appeals in connection with Surfside Crossing. The first letter is a supplemental comment letter to the original application. So, on July 13th, the board sent a letter to the ZBA in response to the Surfside Crossing application. This, whenever the, so it's a 40B housing application, and the local authority, the board, the Zoning Board of Appeals always wants a letter from the local select board to see what they think about the project and what issues or conditions they might want to, the ZBA to consider. So we sent that letter, the board sent that letter. 
After the letter was sent, the board engaged three independent consultants to advise it about the project in the areas of environmental, hydrogeology, and traffic. So the idea here was to supplement our initial comment letter with the findings that we got from these three consultants that we hired. So they did that, and there are a number of conditions that came out of those reports that we put into this supplemental letter. Secondly, there's been a modified proposal from Surfside Crossing. So the Zoning Board of Appeals has asked for a comment letter from the board on the modified proposal. The modified proposal has a lesser, less dense proposal. It's something like 156 housing units down to about 100. I think, don't quote me on that, in that range. So the board developed that letter, and we are going to be sending both of these letters next week Today, if I can work it, but I doubt it because there's too much happening today. Um, in time for the next ZBA hearing on this project, which is November 27th at 4.30 at the high school auditorium. Luckily for us at our meeting, we had an HDC appeal that was continued to December 12th. HDC appeals notoriously take a while. Mm -hmm. Hours. So it's a good thing we didn't have to start one of those at 9 o'clock at night um, this past week. Anyway, we do not have a meeting next week. There's a lot of things going on, though. We've got the Island Cup this weekend. Oh, yeah. Very exciting. Oh, Go Whalers. Yeah. We'll be live. Okay, Everybody good. Everybody wants to watch it live. Oh, excellent. Uh, other, in other town admin news, we are working on reviewing all of the departmental budget requests for a final presentation to the board on December 19th. The Capital Program Committee is getting down to hopefully the development of its final recommendations for fiscal 20 capital projects. The FinCom is beginning to gear up to start meeting once the citizen articles are in. They have a public hearing in, uh, in December. And we got a lot going on at our next, uh, there's a lot of, there's just. That's in two weeks. Yeah. I know. Right, two weeks, right? Yeah, December is in two in weeks, the, right, Gino. Right. In two weeks, so it's right going to be. Right before a stroll. Wait, yeah. Right. The weekend before a stroll. We're meeting. That yes, Wednesday. That's correct. The 28th. Wow. I know. Well, actually, that's in two weeks, right? Is that yeah, it? I can't even. It's Friday, remember? I can't even oh, yeah. count. I can't mm -hmm. even add anything yeah. today. Don't ask me to add anything. Um, what else? Oh, the, um, you probably aren't, I don't know if you're involved in this or not. The Nantucket Public Schools do a guest reader day. It's next Tuesday. It's so fun. Are you the guest? I'm one of the guests. There are many, oh. many guests. And you go and you, they give you a class to read and you bring a book and read a book and talk to them a little bit. It's oh, so much nice. fun. They give you a little How bit of the coffee. Kids? I have been given pre-K. Oh, it's elementary school and intermediate school. But that's, that's the that's great. great. Pre-K is adorable. Oh, gosh. Sometimes they have a little bit of trouble paying attention. But I have a fascinating book to bring them. Oh, really? You can bring you your ever, own do you, book. Do you ever have to say, people, hello? The teacher does that. Oh, I see. You, the guest reader is not really encouraged to keep order in the classroom. I see. I usually bring a book called Obadiah the Bold. It is a book about a little Nantucket youth back in the whaling days. Ooh. So it's Nantucket historical and it's... Wow. I read this book as a child myself. Loved it. Whoa. Yep. So have you started doing this? What do you mean started doing I mean, you, you do this... You know. I've been doing it for quite a while. A lot of people have. There's a lot... Okay. It's all from all over the island. There's, so you continue to read it every time you come in. You read oh, I've been bringing apartment. the same book. Oh, it's just one book. Oh, it's I a see. short oh, book. Oh, okay. Got it. You can't... All right. all right. You can't bring like a big long book in. It's not no, a okay. chapter book. So it's a when children's it's, book that has a it's beginning, a middle, and end. And correct, and it okay. takes about two, two minutes to read. Oh, okay. okay. Anyway, it's very, very fun, and so I'm looking forward to that. And then Thanksgiving next week. Whew. Yeah. Damn. I know. It's going to be fun. Yep. And Is then it? the turkey plunge. Do you do it? No, we should go off island for the day. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but my kids are getting... They want to stay on island. So, oh, and, boy. They want to do the plunge, don't they? Yeah, Grace wants to do the plunge. Everybody does it. 
Yeah, does I, I? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. Now, if it was sometimes, it's been really warm. Yeah. So it's been kind of okay. Right. But on those, there's been some cold, windy. Ugh. Boy, there's so many people that come for it, though. I know. It's, it's awesome. a big deal. It's yeah. fun. It's a good. It's a good event. Anything else? That's all. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any birthdays or anything like that? No, not that. It's I know. Nancy Holmes's birthday today. Oh. Town clerk, acting. Town oh, clerk. right. Yeah. By the way. Um, Happy birthday, I, Nancy. Yes. And uh, how long will? What happens with that? With town clerk? Yeah. Do we vote for that? Yes. Yeah. The term um, of our former clerk, Catherine Stover, would would have expired anyway in 2019. So in the absence of a town clerk, the assistant town clerk is automatically by statute the town clerk. So Nancy is technically the town clerk right now. And she will run in April. Good. Yeah. All right. That's it. Thank yep. you very much. See you next time.